you hear me? It's okay? Okay, thank you. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Benoit. I'm a French member of uh, Wikipedia. I work in French Wikipedia. I'm also a member of uh, Wikimedia France. As a volunteer. I will talk uh, to you about a few experiments we've made on the French community in order to involve people and change uh, on involve new users on the, on, the, on mini wikis. I've put a, a Wikipedia logo on my uh, my presentation, but it's not only about Wikipedia. We uh, we are used to forget there is no there is other wikis. There is a sister project. They are very important. So uh, I will explain to you how to uh, what we do and how to make it in order to involve new Wikipedians. It's very simple ideas. Uh, it works. We tried it. And it works in French. In France, and uh, they are very cheap. If they are a little bit expensive, it's always possible to have some help, I think, from the Wikimedia Media Foundation from your local chapter. First, uh, the streets. We are always in wikis. We never go to the street. We are not used to, to have some action in the street to see real people in their real world. So that's what we try to make some, some experiment. Uh, you remember, maybe this it was made during for the 10 years of Wikipedia in Rennes, France, where I live. Uh, it was an article in the street. And on the window, on this panel, there is a small window. And if you look through the window, you see the building that we're talking about on the panel. We also have a QR code, and QR code is really used. Um, there is uh, the experiment in Mammoth for example, or some uh, QR, QR code experiments, which have been made, uh, for example, in Barcelona. It's really easy to do, uh, to have just an article and a QR code, but having a big structure like that may be very expensive. You can make it cheaper, of course. Just print your QR code to articles, and then you put it on the street. You may do this for Wikipedia article, you, may do, you can do this also for uh, dictionary uh, definitions. You may put the definition of, the, of, of a chair, for example, on a chair, of a bus, on a bus. Of course, uh, do it as legally as possible. <laughs> Another idea is to show who we are. We are Wikipedians, we are humans, we are not robots. So, you can play with this. For example, this was a prototype of um, a campaign in order to, to onboard uh, French Wikipedians. This old guy, this old guy is saying, I'm really fond of Sensei, so I contribute to Wikipedia. We try to make something very different to something very, very funny. Have fun when, when you introduce yourself. Have fun because contribute to the wikis is, is something really fun. You can also have Wikipedia in bars. Uh, have a drink together. It's really enjoying. That's what we do all the time in Wikimania. We uh, going into bars and make some meetups is very important because you will have a community. You will uh, know people. You will share things with people. They may be Wikipedia, but they may be on other projects. You can discover other projects by this way. Uh, and I highly recommend you to meet as often as possible. Be together as as often as you can. Where where I live in Rennes, uh, okay. As often as possible, yes, true. Uh, we meet every Tuesday since three years in order to make stuff on the wikis. Having a big community is very important because uh, if you know each other, you are able to make some bigger, biggest project. It's really difficult to discuss uh, just on the wiki or on mailing list and just have a drink together to provide you a lot of great occasion to make bigger and more efficient project. Wikimedia in a real place. We have to share. We know uh, we we have knowledge. We know how to contribute to Wikipedia. So it's very important to share it with others. Uh, 
uh, we try an experiment uh, in Rennes too, on, in some places in France, in uh, five or six different places in France. We try to take one place to schedule an appointment, a meeting, uh, in order to introduce Wikipedia. We invite people, a lot of people, as much as possible, and we share knowledge about how to contribute to the wikis. I make an example. The name is the Wiki Permanence. Uh, it's a formal wiki, wiki meetup. We have chosen one place, invited people to talk about glam on wikis, and then uh, we have a lot of curious people. They come to the city, they, sometimes they make uh, yeah, 30 to 50 kilometers to come and see us and share with us. It was very interesting, we have about 25 people during this session. We do this kind of session every month with a different team you know, every time. We, we choose different subjects and then uh, by this way we can involve Wikipedia. They will not contribute, they will not share pictures, they will not uh, make stuff on the dictionary immediately. We try to in onboard them. They create an icon, they learn how to talk to people, they learn how to make the first edit. But we, we have them uh, ready for the next steps. For example, uh, on the picture above, uh, it was the GLAM conference, the, the small GLAM permanence that we met. We, after this, we meet some of them. They call us and say, ah, I'm interesting about what when you do to Wikipedia. Very it was really great because now we are going to make some partnership with them in order to, to share knowledge to everyone. It's very, very, I think, yes, it's very important to, to go, to go on, see people, to, to go and present them what we do. The next step, we were on the streets, we were with weird people, we go back to Wiki. Wiki is a very comfortable place. We know how to edit it. We know how it works, we know everything about it. But, as we have told many, many, many times, for a new Wikipedia, it's, really, it's a big challenge. Uh, it's an hostile place. Uh, you have seen it during the, the keynote of Shugana. You click on the edit button, whoa, what happened? Thank you, there is. The visual editor is coming, thank you, the job. Pretty great. There is also hostile people. Eh, you are editing my article. Sometimes some people forget there, there is five years. And uh, hopefully, yes, it's going to change. There is a, the editor engagement project. We do many, on, the, on various wiki, uh, people are just saying, eh, we can change it maybe in order to have new people. What to do? First, Welcome new Wikipedia. Uh, on French Wikipedia, during uh, since one year and a half, we send a personal message to each wiki, wiki to each new user. It's saying, "Hey, my name is Isaac. I'm a volunteer to Wikipedia, and I'm here to help you in order to make your first step." It's very important. Of course, uh, a bot help us to send messages on every new account, but every uh, message is signed by a volunteer. We have 13 volunteers. And every month we receive two or three contacts of people who want, eh, help me to put a picture on wiki, help me to improve this article, help me, blah, blah, blah. It's really, really comfortable. And these people may be able to continue and make better edits. We also have to train them. Uh, to explain, try to see on your local wiki help pages. When you see an help page, uh, it's very obvious for you. Yeah, this information is at the right place. No, for a new user, it's not possible. We have deployed the, uh, the extension, the article feedback tool on French Wikipedia on help page, help pages first. It was very interesting because sometimes for the page, for example, insert, uh, insert an image or how to add a reference. Some people just make a feedback. I don't know how to put an image on the page or I don't know how to insert a reference. Hey, it's written below. No, they don't get it. So 
They are not uh, stupid people. Newbies are not stupid people. That's us. We are stupid not to change what we have. We also tried to train new Wikipedians. Uh, it was, this was only on Wikipedia. It was uh, a project we made. We tried to find the best place in order to display information about what is Wikipedia, how it works, how can you contribute. And you know where is the best place in Wikipedia to inform people? Site notice. True, you know the project. Yes, <coughs> we put this small advertisement on the site notice. There is a simple question. If Wikipedia is a free encyclopedia, can I write everything I want on Wikipedia? True or false? When people click on this banner, they have the answer. We made we made six different uh, six, six different banners. They were uh, during two weeks on the top of all pages of French Wikipedia. And we have also a button in order to collect some feedbacks. It was very very interesting. We have at least um, 300 feedbacks of people who say thank you, I learned something. Sometimes it just has some crap, of course, but it was very interesting to see that people were interested to learn how Wikipedia works. You can have, if you want, uh, the full description of this project on the link here on French Wikipedia. It's a shortcut, but you can go there or at the end of the presentation, you can ask me to have the link. We have also to improve the wiki. That's a big step, and we should gonna talk about it on, uh, on this presentation, and uh, the board talked about it in this presentation, and many people from the Wikimedia Foundation talk about it and press new tools in order to, to improve it. It's very, 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 very important. Uh, new users are not able to, to go on the wikis. It's very hard. Uh, as I talked with, I discussed it with Jean Frédéric, uh, on, Wiki, on Wikimedia Commons there is a lot of technical guys. They are able to make very wonderful tools. There's no designers. But that's quite a shame because uh, we have to think, so to, we have to think to the tool, but we also have to think to users. How do how can they be? Uh, how can they be involved in this process of change? Adding new extension like article feedback tool, uh, notification, visual editor is a really good step in order to go forward. But uh, we also have to think for the user experience first. As a conclusion, and it will be a big conclusion, uh, we have to change minds. We have to go to the user. We have to think user first. I say that I think everyone in this room agrees with that. We have to change mind in order to go to, to think user first. But on many, many wikis, it's not, uh, it's not a priority. I see that on French Wikipedia. Uh, I see that on the main page in, uh, for English Wikimedia Commons. You, People don't want to change. They know they have their tool. It's comfortable. They are ready to just stay here and do nothing. Just add, uh, upload your files button on the, old, the home page of uh, Wikimedia Commons is the first step. Talk to people in order to explain them how important is visual editor is one step too. Many people are just hostile to every kind of change. That's a shame. So try to find some other power users who will support you in order to deploy these new extensions. That was the community situation. Do, on the part of the developer situation, there is also, I think, a problem. Because on French Wikipedia, usually when the Wikimedia Foundation comes on saying, hey, we have a new tool, we all always say, okay, great, but you do that in San Francisco, and us, how can we share our ideas? Fortunately, it starts to change. That's 
great because we can participate, we can be involved in the process of uh, help the, the foundation to create new tools. But I think it may be more improved, really. And the, the French community, it's my example, really wants to, really want this to be uh, more real and more important. I've discussed with some of Wikimedia from various projects, and uh, they also want to be more involved and to have someone who speaks their language in order to present what the foundation is currently making. I think the biggest challenge is for the future. We just start to change mind. We just started. We have to continue. We have to go on the streets, uh, make a bigger community, know each other, share what we want to do to the, for the wikis, help developers, help new users. That is, I think, the future for the two or three next years on all wikis. Thank you. I, re I really want to make a big thank you to, to Wikimedia Switzerland. They give me a scholarship to come here. And pray. Thanks to them. Do you have any questions? So, um, a suggestion and a question. Um, first, uh, uh, so I, I'm a software developer on the editor engagement experiments team in San Francisco. Um, and one of the things that we found is extremely useful is to actually get, um, to do usability studies on people who are editing for the first time. And if you are regularly conducting um, tutorials where you're actually watching new editors make their first edit, it's extremely useful to notice what things they stumble on and to record that somehow and to find a way of um, condensing that into a summary and, and, and communicating that. I'm not sure what the best medium for that is, but I think it would be wonderful um, if you did that. And, uh, the question I had is, so you mentioned the relationship with developers should be improved, but um, do you have any suggestions? What could we do? So I don't hear the, the last part of the Ah, it was just, do you have any suggestions for developers on what we can do to improve the relationship? In one word, just hire people who are involved in the community and are able to talk with, uh, so with the definition. I think if, if you have someone uh, who speaks, uh, for example, French, one who speaks Spanish, one who speaks German, one who speaks blah blah, on main languages or so far, it will go faster. For the visual editor deployment, we have the help of, uh, one, of, one, of one employee of the Wikimedia definition, it's Guillaume, uh, he speaks French, it was very easy to, to talk with him. During the visual uh, the article feedback tool deployment, I made this uh, as a volunteer, it was very, very interesting, but very hard to continue. And uh, to complete your remark about uh, making tests, I try to make some tests every time we have uh, per, uh, wiki permanence, as you have seen, and during my, uh, my res residency as a Wikipedia in Versailles, I've met this with about 100 people. And that's when I I see how many things we have to improve. Any other question? I don't think there is guidelines. We there is just few experiments. Uh, you can see uh, you may have some documentation about it on the, the project made by Kittle Boy on the on the Museo Picasso in uh, in Barcelona and the former Wikipedia, for example, on YouTube can talk to me about uh, what we do for Wikipedia in uh, the first one with uh, the big panels. Uh, so I think. Uh, the most important for this kind of experiment is to uh, target what you what you really want to do, and uh, sometimes make it with a partner in order to have more communication. Uh, we will try to make in Rennes. I hope we will try to do this. Uh, have uh, the communication with QR code and with better articles about uh, the, the metro. We have we have a, sorry, we have a metro line and in Rennes. We will try to to explain to people what. What was the name of the different uh, stations, for example? 
and we will use QR code in order to, to make them able to go to Wikipedia to have more information about it. I think uh, it's very important not to just have just a QR code uh, because everyone don't have a smartphone or don't have uh, don't know how to use the QR code. So uh, it's very important to have some content to use your QR code. But um, if you need, uh, uh, if you want to explain this idea, I will be we will be very glad to talk with you. Yes. This is a QR code with a Wikipedia logo. Ah, as I've told, you have to do this as legally as possible. And as a partner, uh, the partner may be the city, for example. They may help us.